everyone, welcome again to Discussions with Eunice Alfredo Day. This is the episode three and the final episode on how to maintain discipline on having a routinized prayer life. Today I'm going to also be touching on the four last points I have here. And the first point I have here is to reflect and adjust on your routine strategies. So this basically, I'm going to be reading the scripture from Luke chapter 13 verse 24. It reads, strive to enter through the narrow gates. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able to enter. Strive to enter through the narrow gates. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able to enter. What that's telling you is that when it comes to the things of the Spirit, many are called but few are choosing. A lot of people are praying at the same time, but only a few people are getting it right. It's not really about the hours that you accumulate. Neither is it really about the time that you're showing up every, every, every day per se. But are you actually getting the result out of the core results you need from prayers? Are you getting those results out? We find in so many cases where you find that people pray a lot, but they're not able to tap into a lot of inheritance from their prayers. Meanwhile, some people will not pray as much as the others, but they can tap out a lot of resources from God. So it's really about going back to your drawing board. Reflect yesterday. What did I do yesterday that triggered the Holy Ghost? When that trigger came in my vessel, what signs did it show? For some people, it could be you're feeling fire in your hands. It could be that you slept that night and you got a revelation. Are you able to track Things to really know if there is like if you're getting the required outcomes from your prayer sessions and if you're not are you able to go back to the scriptures to read and see and see where people have made mistakes to see where you can adjust to get more effect from your prayers another thing I'll say is you could adjust your routine it could be that that specific time that you've picked does not really suit you per se because some specific times you could be praying, but your spirit could be distracted. Meanwhile, there are certain times of the hours that you could be praying that you are more in tune. For me, I've been able to wait 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. 12 a.m., I'm, I'm a bit more distracted. So I'm praying, but I'm not really, really in tune. But if I choose to pray at 3 a.m., the distraction is totally shut out. I may not even hold my phone. Because at that time, I have slept and I've woken up. I'm refreshed. Everything about me, I'm refreshed. And at 3 a.m., I don't need to necessarily pick my phone to do anything because everyone is sleeping at 3 a.m. So automatically, I find myself that at 3 a.m., I'm more in tune with the Holy Spirit. I'm more in tune with my prayer and I get more result out. But I'm struggling to keep to 3 a.m. because 3 a.m. is like the hardest time to get up and pray. I'm going to the next point. I'll go into incorporating it with other practice, other religious scriptural practices, which includes reading the scriptures, meditating, journaling. And I incorporate that. I don't, I'm not too stiff on that. I incorporate that as the spirit leads. Sometimes I could be praying and I'm studying the scriptures. Sometimes I could be praying and I have my notepad, I'm writing things down. But when you incorporate those things, you find out that it could give you more outcome than just every day sitting down and just praying, 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 praying. So are you studying the scriptures? Is your, because the Bible said, is your, for you to not pray amiss, you must pray according to the will of God. Some of us, we are praying, but most times if we find out that prayer point we are praying is not really in line with the Father's will. Someone is there praying for, to, to marry somebody's husband and you are praying one hour every day. You are waking up at 3 a.m., kabashing for three to four for at three a.m to get someone's hover no that will not work but are you aligned with the scriptures are you incorporating it well with other practices it helps as well the other thing that i also want to mention under there is to enrich your prayer time and to make it more engaging you can also try to try to um, um limit other distracting factors for instance if you notice that if you use too much social media during the day you are more distracted. Try to reduce using social media. For me, I find that a lot. The day I find myself scrolling on social media too much, when I'm praying, I still find myself going back to social media. 
So if you find out that other practices that you're doing, that's your normal day-to-day -day life, is encroaching into your spiritual routine with God, try to cut down those things as much as you can. For some people, it's their work. You find some people that they are always working. When they are sleeping, they are working. 24 hours a day, they are typing an email, they are doing something. And you find out that those same kind of people, when they are praying, they are still trying to reach out to their email to do something. They are sending an email and they are praying. Da, 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 da. They are speaking to someone, doing a business call and they are praying. So it doesn't work that way. So try to shut down as much noise as possible. The next thing I will mention here is for you to visualize your success. Visualize your success. I like this a lot. This is very much in tune with meditation. Meditation is working your mind into focusing on one thing, into focusing on something. So before you even set to even have a routine, picture it in your head. What do you want to get out of this? How do you want your spiritual life to look like? What kind of things do you want to get a hold of at the end of it all? For some people, for some people it could be that they are praying and they are saying, I want to get a hold of of, of, of a strategy in the spirit that can help me take over the business space. For some other people, they are praying and they are saying, I'm going into ministry and I'm praying at the end of it, which is, there is never an end, but your goal is that over time, you're getting hold of core strategies that can help you to win territories for God. So the question is, are you able to visualize those things? Because one thing I find that, found out is what you meditate on is what you really acquire. So for instance, you're someone in a, let's say the year started and you visualize seeing yourself driving in a particular car. The more you visualize on that thing, the more you get closer to that goal. If you really are honest with yourself, that's what happens. The other thing also is for you to visualize yourself actually keeping to those routines. Visualize yourself every day keeping to that routine. At 9 a.m., visualize yourself praying at 12 a.m. At 3 p.m. in the afternoon, visualize yourself praying at 12 a.m. in the morning. Only with that way would you actually find yourself at 12 a.m. actually praying, as opposed to it not being in your mind at all. Out of mind, they say, is out of sight. Anything that is not in your mind will never come into reality. So one thing to wrap up this episode, all I'm going to say is, Try as much as possible. What I'm saying, the Holy Ghost will also teach you and help these words to actually produce fruit in your life. But all I'm trying to say is build a consistent and a heartfelt prayer life so that your spiritual life can grow and you can have a robust well-being. That you can actually have a healthy lifestyle. The Lord knew that without being in his presence, we cannot really maximize our purpose. That's why he said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. May the Lord help you. This wraps up the topic and the episode for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends and comment. Before I end the episode, I would like to pray with you. In Jesus name, our Father and our God want to thank you so much for the topic so far. We thank you Lord Jesus for how you've exposed us to strategies, to spiritual strategies that can help us to actually maintain discipline when it comes to having a routinized prayer life. Help us Lord Jesus by the power of your Holy Ghost to help us at all times to consistently pray, to consistently pray a heartfelt prayer, earnestly contending for the faith that you've given unto us, that at all times will not let go of the altar. And I pray that each and every one that is connected today, you will bless them and the outcome of which a routinized prayer life can give to them, that they would have an They'll have it exemplified and manifested in their lives in the name of Jesus. Your words will not go void. The reason why your word was sent out for it to accomplish it in each and every one of their lives. Blessed be your holy name, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you all for joining to pray. Don't forget to like again, share with your friends, drop your comments down. Same time next week, I'll see you again. Bye-bye for now.